I went to school till I was uh, 12 years old. And I stayed at home. And I don't think I, I don't know whether I went the next winter or not, next summer. Rathburn's come that time. And uh, then I drove there, and then the next year I went up in Highland. Got a little bit of more wages, and as long as uh, this was only a short time, a week or two, you know. Where were Rathburn's? Uh, well, they are at Deseronto, there's a big mill there. Uh, uh, England company from England come out to buy uh, ties and cedar mm -hmm. and uh, the mill there and, uh, I think they flattened the ties I'm not sure but the mill was run and they shipped their uh, right through you see they could load right there mm -hmm. that's England so this would be after the days they took down the big square timber the big square pine the last square timber went down here to Gillis Gillis that took it down uh, cut around here. You must mind that. Too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they took down a raft. That's the last. Thing. They took it down in a raft down the. Uh, Not here, but the raft up in. Uh, at, uh, Iron Prior. Yeah. What's that? Used to raft in Calabogie uh, in, in <coughs> my dad's That's days. Is that right? Yeah. See, this raft that was lost, it was rafted to Calabogie. Mm -hmm. And then I guess uh, no. it was pretty stony there. Right? I guess they put it in this coat iron prior. Oh, I see. Oh, I can mind when the timber come down here. Well, but I, I was only young, very young. I never uh, drove on it on it that Gillis drove out a lot of it out of uh, Hyde Creek. Hyde Creek, yeah. yeah. They made it up back at Denby there. And they made it all over, wherever they could get it fixed. Right. Picked it up wherever they could get it. He and the the half of it was no good. Is that right? You know, the fellows that were making it, if there was a spunk, they would uh, take a knot and drive it in and, and fix it over. To cover it up. You know. I heard Jack Carr, he was agent. And, and he said, I didn't blame the madame, but I had to do it myself. <laughs> but uh, an awful lot of it told. You see, this, this which was here, that time was trees that was left. And years ago, yeah, they were picked over, you know, they were all culled. Right. They were only a lot of good tree. And they'd drive those down singly, they wouldn't wrap them here, oh, they'd take them down singly down the river to uh, Calabogie. Iron Friars. No. Tommy Adams went down on that. You mind Tommy Adams? Yes, yes. He said he never was frightened of water in his life, they got away down there. <laughs> down in the wrong rapids. I don't know. Where, but he said the swells were hi as high as this, higher than this. It's 16 miles, you know, Swift water. there, yeah. from Springtown down. Oh, this is, uh, this is down in the uh, north way. Oh, way down. Oh, oh, way down below. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess there's other rivers coming in, you know, and uh, yeah. said, he said it was awful. The, the big, right. uh, it wasn't swells like for here, it was just rolling. Well, he'd be in the, he'd be in the Ottawa River, you see? Yeah, it's in Ottawa, way down, down the there. Auto. And then the auto goes into the St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence. Well, there's some bad places along there. Were you ever down there? Uh, no, not on the drive. Must be on the Montreal River. Yeah. But he said he never was frightened until he got there. Is that right? Yeah. 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 He didn't uh, frighten anybody. The big swells, the waves. Uh, yes, the big awful swells. I worked mm -hmm. on the French. Hmm? I so suppose that timber, uh, you couldn't have a soil enough that it wouldn't be working, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Into the material, right? And uh, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be sure whether it's going to break or not. If it would break, I guess you're done. All come to pieces right yeah. in the rapids, yeah. I never heard tell of it breaking. Just look at that elbow. 